What's hood, everybody? Welcome to OmniPro Audio. In this video, we're going to cover how to use the Digi002 for control only while using another interface to record and monitor in Pro Tools. I'm on a mission to get the 10K subscribers. If you enjoy watching this video and you want to see me make more content on the Digi002 or Pro Tools in the future, you already know what to do. If you're having trouble getting your Digi002 or 003 working, Click the video link in the top right hand corner for detailed instructions or go to zoom.omniproaudio.com to schedule a one on one support session with me so we can get you up and going. In order to make this work, your computer must have enough ports to accommodate connecting multiple devices. In most situations, you could connect a third party docking station to get more ports. In this video, I'm using a late 2018 Intel Mac Mini. This Mac computer has four Thunderbolt Type C ports and two USB A ports allowing me to connect my dock, external SSD, Apollo Twin, and Digi002 all at once. The first thing we want to do is make sure that the audio interface we plan to use for recording and monitoring is powered on and properly connected to the computer. Today, I'll be using the Apollo Twin X, but you can use any audio interface and get the same result. Make sure that your microphone, monitors, and headphones are connected to your primary interface, not the Digi002. In my case, it will be the Apollo Twin. Before we launch Pro Tools, make sure that the Digi002 is also connected to your computer and powered on. Let's take a look at the screen on the Digi002. The 002 will display the word standby to indicate that you're in standby mode, or you might have a blank orange backlit LCD screen. The 1394 light on the right side of the 002 should be on and solid green indicating that the Firewire cable is properly connected to both the Digi002 and your Mac computer. Now that we got everything connected and powered on, we're going to launch Pro Tools. Let's close the dashboard and select the playback engine from the setup menu in the menu bar. If not already selected, select Avid002 as your playback engine and click OK. The following message should read on the Digi002 LCD screen, open or create a new session. Now, if we proceed from here to open or create a new session, the Digi002 is not only going to control our Pro Tools session, it's also going to be our recording and monitoring device. And if that's all you're trying to do, your mission is now complete. Our goal in this video is to use the 002 for Pro Tools control only while using a different audio interface to record and monitor audio. To achieve that, let's go back to the playback engine under the setup menu this time, we're going to select the Apollo as our playback engine. Once done, click OK. If you still see the message, open or create a new session on a Digi002 LCD screen, you should be good to go. Let's open a Pro Tools session now to check. As you can see, my Digi002 is now in full control of my Pro Tools session, even though the Apollo is selected as my playback engine, meaning I can now record and monitor through my Apollo while still enjoying the 002's control surface features. For as long as the Pro Tools application is open, you don't have to do anything else to keep this working. Simply open a different session or create a new session and the 002 will follow, continuing to allow you to use it for control. I've had a few clients reach out to me about Pro Tools hanging when attempting to close the program while using the 002 on the newer unapproved versions of Mac OS. Let's address that now. When you're done with Pro Tools for the day and you decide to quit the application, simply close your session first, power off the 002 using the power switch on the back of the unit, and then quit Pro Tools by clicking on Pro Tools in the menu bar and then selecting Quit. This will prevent Pro Tools from hanging and will allow the program to close. Although this step is not required on older approved versions of Mac OS for the Digi002, I see the extra step of turning the unit off as a minor inconvenience, but in my opinion, the trade-off is well worth it if it means you can still use your Digi002 with all versions of Pro Tools, including Pro Tools 2024. Once you quit Pro Tools, you could turn the 002 back on if you want to use it in another DAW or if you want to use it to monitor your computer's audio. If you have any issues with Pro Tools or the Digi002, hit me up on Instagram or schedule a one-on-one -on -one support session with me using the link in the description. Bitch.